Your first step is locating your video file. Go ahead and right click and drag it over. You can also copy and paste it and we are dragging it over into our Samsung USB drive. You can use any USB stick you like. Make sure it has enough space to fit your movies. The larger the disk, the usually the slower the speeds. USB 3.0 would be preferred, but if you only have USB 2.0, you can also use that. Once it's finished, you want to go ahead and safely eject the USB stick. Safely uninstalled. There you go. Safe to remove. Now we are going to remove the USB stick from the computer and plug it into the Raspberry Pi. All right, so we have our, our Raspberry Pi. I don't have it turned on yet. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. We have our power adapter. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in here. And then once you have your USB with your movies, you wanna get your, this is our Samsung USB. Uh, it doesn't really matter when you plug it in. You can just go over here and you have your ethernet port and your USB port, you plug it in your USB port. Pretty, pretty obvious. And you have a 50% 50, 50 chance of getting it right. And let's see how I did. Oh, I did it for sure. It only goes in one way. So you can plug it in as it's loading up, during the load time, whatever. All right, so once your track mode launches, I want to point out we are using a keyboard to access the Kodi just because it seems to be the best way to go at it. So once your uh, game launches, we have it set to it automatically picks whatever display you want to use. So you want to go ahead and move over to the track mode setup. I'm going to go ahead and click enter on the keyboard and you can launch the emulation station. But for this video, we're going to be showing you Kodi and how the video works on Kodi. It's already configured. So go ahead and go to Kodi, click enter. Kodi will now launch. I want to notice sometimes Kodi, uh, Kodi sometimes doesn't launch correctly. So sometimes you need to launch it twice. Uh, launch just fine this time. Uh, it failed the first few, uh, two times for me, so if it fails a few times, just keep keep at it. Uh, if you want to do a video, you want to scroll over to videos. You want to click on the video icon. Then you want to go into your files and locate your files you want to play. And as you notice, we already plugged in our Samsung USB. You can use whatever USB device you have. You'll select it with the keyboard. And then we are going to the new folder. And this is the movie we have selected in our Samsung USB. It is the video we made of the track mode earlier. So if I want to watch it, I'll go ahead and hit enter. So we have pause with spacebar. And if you hit escape, you have your menu. We have a little menu tab. You can. Uh, adjust the name of your file, you can sort it, you can filter it, you can hide your watch stuff, you can add stuff to a library, you can do full screen, you can fast forward. It has a lot of different menus for watching movies, so if you only are using a Raspberry Pi and you want to use the Media Center, this, this, is, this is a one-stop shop, people. You can have all your movies, even all your games on a USB device and transfer it over, so you don't necessarily have to have a 256 SD. If you have already the huge 128 gig image, you can load up all your movies on a USB stick of your choosing and watch them as well. All right, guys, don't forget with Kodi, you also have your option on pictures. You can have a slideshow. You can have a whole bunch of pictures on a USB stick. You know, you want a vacation or you went to a party or out with friends. You can actually load the pictures and watch a slideshow on your device of choice. You can watch movies as well, create your own playlist, TV shows, whatever you're into. You can also turn this into a boombox, into a media center. If you're at a party or whatnot, you can go ahead and add a playlist of your favorite jams and have music playing out of this machine as well. Uh, it, all you need is the HDMI cable, and if you have an HDMI input-output, you'll be good to go. It also has a few programs uh, set up on this. You could uh, get some more programs there. These are the add-ons for Kodi. So you have a whole bunch of uh, packs, slideshow, artwork downloaders, whole bunch of different stuff already built in and these are all absolutely free. If you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. I will see you guys next time.